She typically dresses up to attend star-studded parties and red carpet events in her hometown of Los Angeles. For her stay in Australia, Kourtney Kardashian has however embraced a more carefree look. Only a few weeks after giving birth to their son Rocky, the reality TV star traveled to Australia on Tuesday to accompany her husband Travis Barker during Blink 182's Australian tour. Before Travis, 48, left on his own to begin the tour in Perth, the couple was spotted strolling Bondi Beach together. Courtney stayed in Sydney for three months with Rocky, her son Rain, 11, and her daughter Penelope. Penelope and Rain, whom she shares with her ex Scott DeSick, were treated to a sumptuous meal at the popular Kuji restaurant Mimi's on Thursday. Courtney chose comfortable clothing for the occasion, opting for an oversized white baseball t-shirt and wide-leg gray pants paired with black loafers. She wore narrow rectangular sunglasses and carried a little black purse with her belongings. Along with honoring her family, Courtney wore a variety of necklaces. One said, Rocky, the name of her newborn son, and another said, Mrs. Barker, the name of Travis Bride-to-be from May 2022. Rain, the devoted mother, and her son affectionately clasped hands while sporting a black graphic t-shirt and green camouflage pants. Penelope, her kid, trailed after in a white t-shirt and denim shorts, resembling Courtney's little version of herself. Rocky was born on November 1st, but it didn't seem like she took him along for the lunch date. Mason, her 13-year-old son, does not appear to be traveling with the family to Australia. Earlier in the day, Courtney and her children were spotted visiting the vintage and used clothing store U-Turn to look over their selection. Travis left the clan early to fly to Perth for Blink 182's much-anticipated tour, with the first gig scheduled to begin in just a few hours on Thursday night. Their most recent excursion follows Courtney and Travis' startling surprise visit to Bondidney's burger joint in Sydney earlier last week, which caught patrons off guard. After arriving in Australia, Courtney and Travis wasted no time in surprising the locals by congregating near the well-liked eateries in Bondi Beach. On Wednesday, Bondidany's burger joint posted a picture of the well-known American couple visiting to sample the delectable food on Instagram. Courtney looked chic in a cream coat with black piping as she pouted and gave the camera the peace sign while posing for a Polaroid picture at the restaurant. Travis posed with his arm tenderly encircling his wife's shoulders, cutting a laid-back image in black pants and a white t-shirt. Tony Gosden, the venue's proprietor, couldn't help but express in the caption how surprised he was that the megastars had paid them a visit. Never would have imagined seeing Courtney and Travis Barker at Bonditoni's, the man wrote. However, I suppose that everyone could use a little bit of BT's goodness. During their stroll down Bondi Beach, the couple also made stops to take pictures with enthusiastic onlookers while they were at Funky Pies, a vegan cafe. Rain, Courtney's son, photobombed the picture of the family outing, and they looked happy as they posed with a fan. Before Travis had to fly to Perth to meet up with his Blink-182 bandmates Tom DeLonge and Mark Hoppus in preparation for their Australian tour, they made a trip to Bondi. On Wednesday, he was seen getting ready to board the five-hour journey to Perth at the airport. The epic world tour by American pop-punk band Blink-182 will begin in Perth on February 8 and will be the band's first visit back to Australia in seven years. In addition, this is Courtney's first major overseas trip with her November 1st baby, Rocky, and her first visit to Australia since 2013, when she and her sisters Chloe and Kim brought over the Kardashian collection. When Blink-182 last performed in Australia in 2013, Travis did not go with the group because of his phobia of flying, which developed when he was a passenger in a deadly plane accident in 2008. Avenged Seven Folds and Bad Religions Brooks Wackerman covered for him on the sticks. Travis attributes his success in overcoming his phobia of flying to the power of love, which he received from his wife Courtney. His partner, he claimed, had healed him and his kids after the crash in South Carolina that left him as one of the two survivors 15 years prior. I think the power of love really helped me, he remarked in an interview with the Los Angeles Times. 
Thanks to court, my kids and I can now fly. She restored our health, every time I fly, a small part of my life is taken away. It just generates so much horrible tension and anxiety. It brings up all of this past trauma, and occasionally I ask myself, is this worth it? However, I also dislike things having power over me, I detest feeling terrified and letting the past dictate my present and future. Along with his ex-wife Shauna Mokler, Travis is stepfather to Shauna's 24-year-old daughter Adiana de la Hoya. Together, the couple has two children, Landon, 20, and Alabama, 17. Travis wears noise-canceling headphones on airplanes so he cannot hear the landing gear retract, plays guided energy healer recordings, and offers prayers for departed loved ones. Travis successfully boarded an airplane with Courtney in August 2021, marking his first flight in 13 years. They were headed to Cabo San Lucas. After a gig in September 2008, Travis, his friend Adam, DJ AM, Goldstein, his security guard Charles, Che, Still, and his assistant Chris Baker boarded a private plane in South Carolina to fly to Los Angeles. One of the tires on the little aircraft blew out when it was trying to take off, leading it to overshoot the runway, crash through the fence surrounding the airport, cross the nearby highway, and end up on the embankment by the side of the road. The Chicago Tribune reported that the jet burst into flames upon contact, killing the pilot, Sarah Lemon, and the co-pilot, James Bland, in a matter of minutes due to smoke inhalation and burns. On impact, Still and Baker also perished. Travis spent three months in the hospital receiving skin grafts and 26 procedures to heal the third-degree burns that covered 65% of his body. Travis had crippling fear following the incident, which he experienced even at the sight of an airplane. 